hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. It says to remember, Isaiah, Gabriel, to remember. Why? Because today in 2022, we forget the Lord's holy Sabbath. Now look around you. You see Taco Bell open, gas station open. What is this over here? Uh, JJ's Foods open. You see a CVS open. On the Lord's Sabbath day, people are buying, they're selling, they are cooking on the Lord's day. But we're going to find out what we're supposed to be doing today. Really? It is. Hey, all praise be to the Most High. All praise, all praise. So what's your name, bro? Huh? What's your name? No, your name. Isaiah Gabriel, yeah, 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 I remember you, okay. And what's your name, sir? In the hat, what's your name? Huh? D. All right, so listen. What the prophet was just bringing out, John 3, 16, has been taught to us wrong, right? The church have took John 3, 16, and they said, so for God so loved the world, it is going into the whole planet. That's not what the Bible says, right? The Bible is dealing with a specifically world that is dealing with, according to the Bible, that he loves. He's not talking about the whole earth. Because there's people in the Bible he loves, and there's people in the Bible that he say he hates. Right? So we're going to prove it. All right? The scriptures. Give me that. Give me John 3, 16. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So who been to church? Who been to church? You been to church? Come on, man. I'm rephrasing. Raise that hand. Raise that hand. I mean, yeah, I've been to church. You been to church? You been to church? Hey, my brother in the hat. My brother in the bull's hat. If you've been to church in your life. All right. So I know y'all heard that before, right? John 6, 3, 16. God loved the world. He loved everybody. Right? So we're going to give the sense to this scripture. Because what the pastors don't do, they don't break it down and give the sense. You have to go precept up on precept. You got to go a little in the Old Testament, a little in the New Testament to give the sense to what John 3.16 is referring to, right? So we finna show you. So when you leave here, you're going to know in your mind, John 3.16 is not for everybody. John 3.16 is for you. Read. For God so loved the world. So stop. It said for God so loved the world. Now we got to find out what world is he referring to that God loves. God don't love the whole planet. Let's find out what world is he referring to. Give me that in Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. We just brought to you that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. You are the seed of Jacob. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel. But the Bible says, but Israel. But Israel. No, about the white man. About the Chinese man. The Indi East Indian man. Who? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. The Israelites shall be saved in the Lord. That is you so-called black Hispanics and native Indians. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. The Bible says you're going to be saved in the Lord. Why do you have to be saved? The white man don't need to be saved. He's ruling the planet right now. Everything is under his control. The judge, when you go to court, everything is owned by the white man. Absolutely. Right? So, but we got to understand everything is owned by them. Right? So, it's not dealing with that world. Because why do we need to be saved? Because we've been destroyed as a people. How we've been destroyed? Because we have been taught sin is okay. Every day we break in the laws of God. Like today. Give an example. Who knows what today is? Is that what? The 10th? No, 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 no. But what is today the Sabbath? Nobody knows, right? Because church teaches you Sunday is the day of worship. They teach you Sunday is God's day. That's not truth. Today is the Lord's holy Sabbath day. And there's a way that God commands us to keep it. Right? This is what we need to be saved. We need to be saved because we are breaking the laws of God. Our impressors have destroyed us from our nationality, from the keeping of God's laws in our God. So let's find out that. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. What are we reading? In the Holy Bible. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. It says to remember, Isaiah, Gabriel, to remember. Why? Because today in 2022, 
We forgot the Lord's holy Sabbath. Now look around you. You see Taco Bell open, gas station open. What is this over here? Uh, JJ's Foods open. You see a CVS open. On the Lord's Sabbath day, people are buying, they are selling, they are cooking on the Lord's day. But we're going to find out what we're supposed to be doing today. Read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Bible says you're supposed to keep today holy. Read. Six days shall thou, shall thou labor and do all thy work. So, real quick, what's the, what's the first day of the week? You all right? You said Monday? Hey, what's the first day of the week according to the calendar? What is the first day of the week? My brother, you said what? Say it louder. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. So now if we count Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be the sixth day. And Saturday is the seventh day. So Friday when the sun goes down, it begins the Holy Sabbath. Which is today is the Lord Holy Sabbath, right? Read on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord the, thy God. In it thou shalt not, shalt not do any work. Thou shalt not do what? Any work. So the people that's working in Taco Bell, the people that's working in CVS, the people that's working in Dollar Tree, they are doing work on the Lord's Sabbath day. We're not supposed to be working. All these businesses are supposed to be closed today. There should be nothing open. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. But... What happened? We forgot it because through captivity, they have lied to us and taught us Sunday is the Lord's day. That's not in the Bible. None of the apostles in the Bible kept Sunday holy. You don't find none of the disciples, none of the prophets kept Sunday holy. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. So you got sons or daughters? You're supposed to be teaching them not to work on Saturday, sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. It is the Lord's holy Sabbath. Read. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger within thy gates. For in six days the Lord had made the heavens and the earth. Stop. So God is not a hypocrite. He, he worked six days. He created the heavens. He created the animals. He created everything. Six days. Christ ended his work on the seventh day so he's telling you for reverence for him we honor him by keeping the seventh day holy right. but today we're not doing it look around you look to the left look to the right look to back of you look to front of you everybody is moving around buying or selling cooking they are um disobeying the lord's sabbath yes, right. they are defiling the lord's holy day yes my brother uh -huh. Oh, come in the coast. I can't, I can't hear you. Okay. Okay. Force to work. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me judge five and eleven. Judges 5 and 11. What do we do? Very good question. Y'all hear what the brother said? He said, we are, to, first of all, all praise you recognize that we are in captivity. Because some of our people don't believe we're in captivity. They say, no, we good. You are in captivity. The brother said, how do we keep the Sabbath day in the land of our captivity? You so-called black, Hispanics, and native Indians, you are in slavery right now. America got us in slavery. So how do we keep the Sabbath day, right? Read that. The book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. Listen good. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing waters, there shall, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So we're going to read that from the top again, all right? Read. They that are delivered. Hold on. And my brother. My brother in the back. Come here, bro. Stop by. Stop, 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 stop. Real quick. We going over the Lord's Sabbath today. I'll be back, bro. You see? Read. They that are delivered from the, the noise of the archers. No. Who knows what those noise of archers is? It's the nuclear bombs that's going to fall out and hit America. America's not always going to be what you see. One day, the streets of Chicago is going to be on fire. The streets of Atlanta is going to be on fire. The streets of New York is going to be on fire because of those nukes, because of the wickedness that's going on here in America. Right? Read. 
in the place of drawing water. So drawing water is what? It called a water boy, right? So it means in a place of slavery. Is this is going into your question you asked. We are here in America in slavery because we broke the laws of God, right? Read. There. So the Bible says there in this place in America. Read. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So what does it mean to rehearse? To do what? Practice. So to practice, you're doing the best you can to do what? Right? So even in America, we know we're in slavery, but you got to try your best to keep the Lord's Sabbath day. I'm not going to tell you you got a job today to go quit. You know what? I quit. I'm going to keep the Lord's Sabbath day. No, because you got to provide. It is a law for a man to do what? Provide for his household. You got to send a prayers. You got to try to look for a job that you can get the Sabbath day off. The Lord will fight for you to do so. But right now, we are in the land of rehearsing the righteous acts. Right? Read it again. They are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water. There, they, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So the Lord knows we are in slavery. I used to work on the Sabbath day. He used to work on the Sabbath day. He used to work on the Sabbath day. He used to work on the Sabbath day. Now, guess what? I no longer work on the Sabbath day. Do you work on the Sabbath day? He no longer work on the Sabbath day. He no longer work on the Sabbath day. He no longer work on the Sabbath day. We all was there at one point. But when you want to keep the laws of God, you're going to do what you can. You're going to try your best and ask the Lord to fight for you that you can get that day off. Right? Let me ask you a question. In the world, when we wanted to go to a club, right? We'll stay up all night long to hit that club. We get off work. We'll make time to go to that club and party, right? If a girl calls you up and say, what's your name, my brother? In the world, right? Hey, man, come on over and get some. We make whatever time we got to get over there. So we got to do the same thing with the laws of God. Now, give me Hebrews 10 and 26. Let me show you the reverse side of that. Because that side is going into your trying. You try, you try to do what you can and rehearse and apply in the laws. Now, give me Hebrews 10 and 26. Because a lot of people out here is not trying to keep the Lord's Sabbath day. They don't care. They don't care about applying the laws of God. This is the mind state that our people, all our people think about is partying, drugs, sex, money. This is the condition that our minds has been conditioned under slavery. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. Listen good. For if we sin willfully. So if the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanic, and native Indians sin willfully. What does it mean to sin willfully? What is willfully? If I went right now off this and stepped on your feet, I said, what are you saying? Ain't that's willfully? That's willfully. So when you're sinning, you know better. Like right now, all y'all have been warned today is the Lord's Sabbath day. If you leave here and you go by anyway, that's a willful sin. Do you understand that? Read. For if we sin willfully if we sin willfully after that we receive the knowledge of the truth the knowledge of the truth is the bible we have read in the laws of the book and said that today is the lord's sabbath day we must not buy or sell right or work right so now if you say you know what that don't sound right i gotta make my paper i'm gonna work i ain't finna i ain't finna try to get another job i gotta please this wife i got she want this new car i got i'm gonna work that's willful sin. Let's find out what happens. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. You're not going to be forgiven for that, bro. You see the difference? Now give me Titus 2 and 11. You see the difference? It's a difference between a willful sin and then you're trying the best. We're in captivity. We have to just try the best that we can to keep the laws of God. Right? This is when this come in at. Titus 2 and 11. This is what grace come in at. Have you heard of grace? Grace is supposed to teach you to stop sinning. Grace is not what the Christian church teach. The Christian church say grace is we ain't got to keep the laws of God. The laws of God is done away with. I can eat pork. I can have multiple wives. I can, um, I can do all these things. Grace have covered me. No. Read. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. What are we reading? The Holy Bible. Read. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should have lived soberly. You shaking your head. You shaking your head. You in agreement. You know. Read it again. Verse 12. 
teaching us that denying to do what? Denying. So let's read it from the top again. From the grace of God, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So wait, 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 hold up. So this answers your question, my brother. Y'all understand this. It says, for the grace of God has appeared. Sister, how you doing? Come on in, sis. Come on in. What's your name, sister? Emery. Emery. So what are we going over right now? We are going over the Lord's Sabbath day. How can we apply today, which is the Lord's Holy Sabbath, and keep it in captivity? Because you agree we're in captivity, right? right? Right. So this is what we are given to understanding. So Christianity says grace has came. Christ died on the cross. Now we are under grace. We are no longer under God's laws anymore. You see? So this is what we're going to bring out. Who believes we don't have to keep the laws of God no more? Raise your hand. Who believes that? Okay, I'll praise. So read this. Let me show you something. Read it from the top. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. That all men is the so-called black and Hispanics and native Indians. That's the Israelite men. It's not talking to all men. God don't care about these other nations. When is our people going to understand that? God only loves one people, and that's the Israelites. All right? Read it again. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness. What the grace supposed to do to a man or woman? Teaching us, den denying us ungodliness. So what is ungodliness, sister, since you just walked in? What is ungodliness? Woo, you hit it on the point. Absolutely, you 100% right. Y'all understand that? What's the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 